Hello, this is Wynn with Access Innovations, and in this video we're going to take a look inside the Source Master, one of the many software tools that we have available for content management. We'll look at how the Source Master works and how it enables you to develop your own specialized taxonomy that allows you to efficiently and effectively manage your digital content. When you first load up the Source Master, you'll see a drop-down menu that lists several different languages. Selecting one of these languages will determine the language in which the Source Master interface appears. We currently have English, Arabic, French, and Spanish available, and we're working on adding more languages in the future. Let's select English for now and look at some of the other features of the Source Master. So as you can see, there are currently no terms or hierarchies loaded up in the Source Master. The Source Master lets you easily import the terms you want in your thesaurus by using the import module. Let's go ahead and import a hierarchy so you can see how it works. When you import a file containing the terms you want to use, you will see that the Source Master can import a number of different file formats. If you don't know the encoding format of the file that you wish to import, there is also an I don't know option that you can select, and the Thesaurus Master import module will attempt to figure out what format the file is in. So we're going to go ahead and import News Indexer, which is a thesaurus developed by Access Innovations to reflect the specialized vocabulary of the news media. To learn more about News Indexer, go to www.newsindexer.com. As you can see, the Source Master allows for a hierarchical view, which allows you to enhance the meaning of the terms in your thesaurus based on their placement in the hierarchy. You can easily move terms or entire branches around in the thesaurus by right-clicking on the term and selecting Move, and then entering the name of the appropriate broader term. The Source Master also allows you to add non-preferred terms, which are either synonyms or near synonyms that enhance the meaning of the terms they are associated with. This serves to enhance search. If the thesaurus term love has a non-preferred term affinity, a user searching for affinity would return results as if they had searched for love. Terms in the thesaurus often are conceptually related to other terms that aren't in the same branch of the hierarchy, so the thesaurus master provides a way to record related terms. In this example, motherhood has parenting as a related term. Related terms are often displayed on web pages that use the thesaurus as a navigation tool for the site's content to help a user discover more content that might be interesting to them. The history field in Thesaurus Master allows you to track where your terms came from, when they were added and who added them. If they're moved from the original placement after being added, Thesaurus Master records that as well. The Source Master allows editors to write notes about the terms or hierarchies in the thesaurus as well. This helps to avoid confusion during editing of the thesaurus by allowing editors to comment on specific terms in the thesaurus. Using Thesaurus Master has many advantages. Using a thesaurus with a rich network of relationships among terms allows for more accurate indexing. Through the use of non-preferred terms and related terms, documents that use inconsistent language can still be indexed accurately and consistently. Using a controlled vocabulary, editors no longer have to think as much about the terms that they use to index documents. Editors can utilize the controlled vocabulary to consistently and accurately index documents. Because Thesaurus Master lets you better define the terms in the thesaurus through the use of non-preferred terms and related terms, searches for documents will also be more accurate. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed the demo. For more information, call 1-800-926-8328.